Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now. This could be a career-defining week for Maria Sharapova. The former number one will have a hearing in London on her punishment for testing positive for the banned drug meldonium at the Australian Open. According to New York Times writer Christopher Clary, the hearing is set for Wednesday. Maria posted this image of herself in Paris on Monday, 48 hours before her disciplinary date. ITF President Dave Haggerty has suggested that a decision in Maria's case could be reached by Wimbledon. The million dollar question, what will be Maria's punishment? And it seems the experts are a bit divided on this. Some say the World Anti-Doping Agency's recent admission that there's no clear scientific information on the time that it takes for meldonium to clear the system, combined with the inventor of the drug saying that it takes months for meldonium to clear, could be a game changer for Maria. Since the drug was legal for most of the 10 years that she took it, Sharapova can argue that she last took meldonium months before it was banned on January 1st. However, incoming WADA Director General Olivier Nigli disputed that defense, telling the Associated Press that her levels were so high that it's not even a question. Back in 2012, Maria carried the Russian flag at the London Olympics, and Russian officials have said they hope she will be reinstated in time for the Games in Rio. We shall see. Andy Murray transformed the Rome final into a birthday blast. On his 29th birthday, Andy celebrated in style, dethroning defending champ Novak Djokovic to seal his first Rome title with this wild match point. It was Murray's first clay court win over Djokovic, and in that win, he denied Nole's bid to become the game's first $100 million man. Andy's mom, Judy Murray, was thrilled. Over the last 13 months, Murray has a 29-3 record on clay. Meanwhile, two of the Joker's three losses this year have come on dirt. So what does that mean for next week's Roland Garros? Oddsmakers still have Nole as the favorite to win his first French Open, followed by nine-time champion Rafa Nadal as the second choice. Bookmakers rate world number two Murray ahead of defending champ Stan Wawrinka and Kei Nishikori. Roger Federer, who's been battling a back injury, is listed as a 33-1 to shot to win the French Open. Nike's new look for the tournament in the City of Lights is all indigo. Here's a look at what the stars are going to be wearing at Roland Garros next week. You'll notice a common color theme here. Roger, Rafa, Serena, Grigor Dimitrov, and Madison Keys will all wear shades of blue in Paris. Well, Serena Williams reached a major milestone in Rome. The world number one snapped a nine-month title drought, defeating American Madison Keys to win her 70th career championship. And get this, it was the first all-American women's clay court final since Serena beat her sister Venus to win the 2002 Roland Garros title. After the final, Serena said that 17th ranked Madison Keys absolutely has the potential to be the next world number one. We agree, we like the way she plays. You can let us know what you think. On her way to her fourth win in Rome, Serena didn't drop a single set. And by the way, she's been ruling in Rome for quite a while. Her first win there, 14 years ago against Justine Hennen. Most importantly for Serena, the victory solidifies her status as a very strong favorite to win the French Open. Odds makers have her winning 9-4, and if she does it, she will equal Steffi Graf's open era record of 22 Grand Slam titles. Victoria Azarenka is second favorite, followed by Simona Halep, Wimbledon runner-up Garbina Muguruza, and Australian Open champ Angelique Kerber. Serena has won three French Open titles. However, she has yet to successfully defend Paris, but she says this year is different. She is gonna go in feeling calm and she will not put too much pressure on herself. Win or lose in Paris, Serena will have a major moment come June. Serena, the documentary, is gonna be making its world television debut on Epix on Wednesday, June 22nd. Filmmakers had unprecedented private access to Serena and her team, including their reactions after Serena's gut-wrenching U.S. Open loss last summer and her Australian Open final defeat to Angelique Kerber. The film aims to capture the pressure of being world number one 
and show the private side of Serena in conversations with family, friends, her coach, and trainers. Here's a sneak peek for you. There's numbers that I'm really close to. Whether I reach those numbers or not, I will play and I will fight. And when I feel that I'm done, then I'll be done. That's all for now. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.